Hi, I'm Noel Fielding, um, formerly of the Mighty Boosh and uh, Noel Fielding's Luxury Comedy. Uh, I'm here with NME online, the online boys, and they're pretty violent. They've uh, they forced me into this interview and uh, they beat me up, sort of pushed me into a corner and uh, they pinched me quite badly and pulled, pulled some of my hair out, like it actually came out in their hands. But they're nice boys and uh, we're getting on better now and uh, we've had some wheat lemonade and some crisps and we're just about to get on with the interview so stay tuned, it's going to be fun, it's going to be fun fun, fun fun. My dad used to make compilations tapes out of all of his records and I had a massive record collection and the songs that I liked were the weirder ones because as a kid you sort of go oh what's this a bit frightening there was a sort of quite frightening Hawkwind song that I didn't like that was called Brain Pollution or some weirdness <laughs> that used to frighten me a bit but there was actually the, the I had a there's a Manfred Mann song that had a cockerel crowing at the beginning of it really loudly and it was quite frightening and I didn't like that when I was really young when I was like three or something but the song that I really liked was um, See Emily Play and Arnold Lane my dad had both those two songs on a compilation and for some reason I liked those songs and I always used to say hey, who's this in the back of the car dad I like this one who's this and he'd go it's Pink Floyd and then I remember when I was about 13 thinking well I'm gonna go and get an album a Pink Floyd album and uh, I went to the library and got Dark Side of the Moon. And I sort of remember thinking, this isn't the same. And it, I didn't know about Sid Barrett, obviously, at that point. So I realised it was because Sid Barrett was the early stuff, the stuff that I liked. And then and I liked the later stuff as well, but it was sort of different. It sounded like a different band to me. And I was like, oh, this is weird. So yeah, I responded to Sid Barrett weirdly as a child. <laughs> and weirdly enough, I sort of was obsessed with two kinds of music when I was really young. Adam Ant, I loved as a concept. And I think Dandy Highwayman and Prince Charming. She mentioned Charming was the first album I bought. But then my mum and dad were into much more sort of heavy rock. So I bought a Motorhead album called Bomber. So it sort of flitted between Lemmy and Adam Ant. So I was quite confused as a child <laughs> which path to go down. <laughs> the more dandy pop star or the sort of <laughs> warty, whiskey drinking, sort of rock and roll denim wearing madman. And then there was Kiss thrown into the mix. Kiss. I was obsessed with Kiss when I was young as well. It's confusing. There's two songs that we used to play at the start of Boosh gigs, actually. We used to play that Led Zeppelin song, uh, Come From the Land of the Ice and Snow. You know that one? Ah, and it starts, ah, that one. And we'd have wolf masks on, both of us, and we'd be in raincoats, because that was the first scene of the show. And we'd be sort of, so the raincoats were really, really hot. So often we'd just be no top on trousers because we worked in the post office in the show and wolf masks so, and doing one side and maybe the other and that song would come on and we knew that was the song just before we started the show and we'd both be sort of dancing topless with wolf masks on <laughs> and that I, I can't listen to that song as a song in its own right anymore without thinking about both shows it's not that it's a horrible experience it's just like it killed it for me because I listened to it about 300 times and it just makes me think of Julian with his tits out with a wolf mask on. <laughs> kind of ruined it. I was listening to Gold the other day. I was making some props for the live show. And I just had classic Gold on. So it had all hits from the 60s, I think, or the 70s. And they kept playing really cheesy sort of old songs. But good songs. But they played Baker Street. And for about four days, I just had that bit in my head. I was just wandering about. That was the soundtrack to my life. I was going, this has killed me. I can't get rid of it. I wake up literally with that sax solo in my head. It's quite a good song, though, actually. It's sort of so good, but it's sort of a bit cheesy, and you sort of you forget it's quite a good song. You go, actually, this is quite a good song. But it is so 70s. You couldn't write a song like that now. It's about nine hours long. It's almost. It's like half an hour. I like White Punks on Dope by The Tubes. I wish I'd written that. There's a really funny line in that. And he says, I go crazy because my folks are so fucking rich. <laughs> Always makes me laugh. Um, yeah. Or Can You Hear Me Knocking by The Rolling Stones. That's pretty good. Mick Taylor. That guitar's pretty perfect. 